Hello, everyone, and welcome to the expectations video for UNCW Campus Recreation Competitive Sports. Uh, we will use this video for all officials trainings. It will be the first one out of many. First up, I'd just like to introduce myself. Obviously, you all should know me by now. My name is Ian Roberts. I am the coordinator of competitive sports here um, at UNCW Campus Recreation, and then Brianna Sudano is the other coordinator of competitive sports. Depending on what sport you do, you may get to interact with a little bit with both of us. Um, and then listed below is our program assistants, Xander Lewis, Kyla McCoy, and Chloe Smith. Um, and then we have a vacancy in the assistant director position. So as of now, it is just Bree and I running the show. Looking up the ladder uh, of campus recreation staff, Tim Lewis is the director and Eric Unger is a new associate director, brand new this year. Um, so you will see them in our spaces as well. So feel free to say hello to them. All right, now getting into some of the expectations, first and foremost is just to be on time, right? Um, with any job, I think it's very important that you be there, um, specifically with officiating. So you'll be scheduled 15 minutes before each game. Um, so we have that 15 minute buffer in order for you to get out on the field, get yourself familiar, help set up with the field, et cetera. Um, when you show up on time, we are also hoping that you will already be in your appropriate attire um, with your necessary equipment and ready to go. Other expectations, obviously know the rules. That'll be important as a sports official. Work as a team on and off the court um, and then wear the correct uniform. So the uniform for each sport will be laid out in the first slide. Um, so pay attention to that and make sure when you're showing up that you are dressed correctly. For our schedule, we will use a system called Do Sports Easy. Um, if you haven't already, you should be added into it here shortly. You will submit all of your availability in Do Sports Easy, and that's also where you'll be able to see your shifts each week. Um, it can be found on the Campus Regulation website, and I will show you a little bit of how to do that here in a second. You will always use your UNCW login, so whatever your email is, you will use that without the at uncw.edu, and then you use your password um, for your email as well. The schedule will be posted every Friday afternoon, and that will be posted for the following week. Um, games are played pretty much Monday through Thursday after 5 p.m., so that is the main spot where you will be scheduled. Um, like I said, it'll be posted Friday afternoon. We ask that you have your availability changed by that Thursday before, um, just so that when I go in Friday, I can just go right in, assign people to shifts, and not have to worry about who is available and who's not. So please be sure to update your availability consistently. This is where you'll find Do Sports Easy. So if you type in UNCW Campus Recreation, um, you can click on our page and scroll down to the bottom. Um, student Staff DSE, that is where you will click to log in, which will bring you to this screen. Like I said, you will put your UNCW email in there without the at uncw.edu, and then you will use whatever password that you typically use for that as well. This is what you will see once you log in. The first time that you log in, um, I will have you scroll to this details tab and fill out all of the information in here. Um, once you fill this information out, that will allow us to put you on the schedule. Until you do that, you will not pop up in our system in order to be scheduled, um, so please be sure to do that. Okay, for setting availability, you will go to the availability tab and it will pull up your screen that looks like this. It is a click and drag system, so if you have to block something off at 10 a.m., you click right at 10 a.m. on Monday, drag it down as far as you need. Um, it will allow you to edit the exact times and stuff like that. But I would go in here, put your entire class schedule, put any extracurriculars you have, stuff like that in there. Um, it does repeat weekly, so whatever you put in here the first time, it will repeat like that every single week until you change it. Um, so go ahead and do that right away. Make sure that um, we do not schedule you when you are not unavailable. Um, you will only ever be given shifts while you are listed as available, um, which is that the rest of the white screen up there. Like I said, click and drag. You can mark it as available or preferred. If you prefer to work a certain day or time, feel free to click that off as well. Um, not a requirement. And then at the top of it, you'll see shifts. So when you get shifts, you will be able to see them on this tab um, and it will show them for the entire week um, for that. Job codes. So this individual obviously had a lot of job codes. You all will likely start out with just one or two. Um, you'll obviously have the training and then a couple of officiating codes, but you're able to see those in there as well. Okay, you can also make trades. So there will be a category called 
um, the trade board and you can go in if you get assigned a ship and then you no longer can work it you can click on that um, in the trade board and put it up for trade that basically allows any other official or anybody else with that job code to then pick up a shift um, it is your responsibility to get ships covered when you need them to so if you are scheduled for something that you cannot work it is up to you to get that covered um, we will have a group me set up that you can reach out to. Everybody's phone numbers can also be found on Do Sports Easy. Um, so you can text people, all that, and then once you find someone, they can go into Do Sports Easy, pick up whatever ship you're trying to give up, and that works like that. Uh, we do have to approve all the trades, so we do ask if and when you are making a trade, um, just let myself or Bree know so that we can go in and approve it. Um, like I said, this is the Trade Center. You'll be able to see shifts that you have given up. You'll also be able to see available shifts that people may be trying to give up as well. Okay, when we have an injury on the court, um, we will try to notify our supervisors right away, and we are encouraged not to move the injured player, regardless of what it is. Um, if a player is bleeding, it is also very important that we keep them in one spot. Uh, we do not want their blood dripping all over the place because then we have to clean all over rather than just one spot. So when somebody gets injured, um, please encourage them to stay in their place. Um, there's usually two or three officials on a quarter field, so have somebody stay with them so that they stay in place and then send the other one to go find a supervisor so that they can go deal with that as well. Okay, now the fun part of it, the Seahawk Officials Association Incentives Program. Um, so the longer you work for us and the more sports and the more games and stuff that you work for us, you will start to gather points. Um, and then these points can be cashed in for these items that you see here. Um, just for three points, you get a cushioned whistle. It's a little bit easier on your teeth. Um, championship t-shirt for five points, so on and so forth. You all can read that. And then we'll go over real quickly how you can earn points throughout the year. So if you officiate a championship game, you will get one point for that. Between one and 20 games, you'll get a point. Um, and then you can see some of the others as well. What, what I'll say here is that by far the easiest way for you all to, to earn points and then get this free stuff that we have to offer for you is to work multiple sports. Um, you'll obviously get more games, but then you'll also see on this section here, if you officiate at least two sports, you get an automatic five points. Uh, five points. If you officiate all three, you get an automatic six points. Um, so these will start to add up, and that's when you can start to get to um, the backpack, which is really nice. That's the one that everybody tries to go for. So I would encourage you to do that. All right, very good. And just lastly, um, the upcoming trains that we have, we will have a couple of days at the classroom for the recreation field complex coming up, and then one day of practice games at the recreation field complex. Um, these are for soccer and flag football. If you if you're officiating an indoor sport such as basketball or indoor soccer, um, then you will get an email with some different information as to where to meet up. Um, but typically, all of our trainings will have two days in the classroom as well as like out on the courts or fields, um, and then we'll have one day of practice games so that you all can get familiar before we send you out there. Um, thank you very much. Now you can go to your sports specific trainings and check out those as well. And that's all I got.